Hello everybody and welcome back to FM23 for the Youth Challenge Academy save and yes, we are... Well, we're Geisley and we're taking on Hitchin Town. I nearly said we're Hitchin Town, which would have been a disaster. I've still got this sore throat, I can't shake it, but as they sung, Queen once song, song, sang, sang song? The show must go on, is what I'm trying to say, but yeah, we'll be playing Hitchin today. We're starting on the page with pre-season, which has been... Okay, I would suggest. Uh, we beat our second 11, 2 1, which was always helpful, but we did actually mix it up. So we only had, like, we picked our 11 and then we gave anyone that wasn't playing in our 11 to the second 11 so that we could see them. And Adam Hoare scored, which is nice because he will feature prominently going forward. Uh, 2 1 win, Jake Cassidy, our star man, and Callum Chippendale, who is also becoming a bit of a mainstay in the starting 11. We played Albion Sports, beat them 3 0, changing to a 4 4 1 1 from a 4 3 3. Uh, 3 0 win, lovely. Jake Casty and Adam Hoare getting on the score sheet. We lost 3 2 to Nuneaton Borough. Uh, again, we stuck with the 4 4 1 1. Jake Casty and Adam Hoare scoring for us again. It was a penalty that won it for them. We played Bradford, who are in League One. Uh, lost 4 2. We tried a 4 1 3 2 DM asymmetric. And as you can see, we actually varied our shape and formations quite a lot. And uh, to see what worked, really. And the 4 1 3 2 DM asymmetric that we played for 47 minutes actually gave us two goals so yeah interesting and we sort of stuck with it 3-1 we beat South Shields in this one uh, Ross Daly popping up in the 92nd minute to get a goal Callum Chippendale again in the 86th minute uh, this one we rotated a little bit in some terms of formations Bury, we beat them 4-1 as well Chippendale getting another Adam Hall scoring a hat-trick and again Mixing up the formations, just trying different things during pre-season and see what we could do. We went, then took on Walsall at home, 4-2 loss, but again, a league team. Uh, and Tammy Ab Timmy Abraham only made it comfortable in the 92nd minute. We brought it back to 3-2 through Mohamed Kasim, but uh, overall not too bad. Only three formations using that one. We did venture with a five at the back at one point as well. And then we've just finished pre-season with a 4-1 win over Farsley. Adam Hall scoring a hat-trick. Jake Cassidy getting one. And uh, they scored from the penalty spot after six minutes. But generally, we have been playing pretty well in pre-season. I'm happy with how it's been going. Uh, we've not lost anyone massively. There was interest in... There still is interest in Sakura from Gateshead, which is a little bit annoying because they're in the league above us. Uh, Gardner's still here. He actually turned down the deal from Chess Hunt and they're still interested in him, but I don't think that's going to happen. We had to give, uh, who was it, uh, Eibel a new contract because there was teams sniffing around him back from St. Kitts and Nevis. So we've given him a contract. He's now a squad player. He is now getting paid weekly, but we can afford it, so it's not too bad. Other than that, everything's the same. The only player that we... There you go. So we had two offers on uh, Ibao. The only player... That we had to release very irritatingly was Donald Chimalilo, our, our Zambian winger, because he didn't get a work permit for his new contract, unsurprisingly. So, yeah, Donald left. Uh, he's now joined Luscus Dynamos back in Zambia. So, fair enough to him. Like, hopefully, he gets some good game time there. I was excited to use him for his pace, but yeah, we didn't really get a chance, which is a little bit annoying. So, this is how we're lining up at the moment into the tactic screen. It is a 4-4-2, basically, but it's labelled a 4-1-3-2 DM asymmetric formation. Um, for those that haven't watched the Newcastle save, I'd say the Segundo Volante on attack is one of my favourite roles in Football Manager, along with a ball-playing defender that dribbles more, but I'm not ready to do that at such lower levels of football. But... Yeah, we're basically playing wing play. Uh, we're actually going to start on balance. We had it on defence from the Walsall game, and then I forgot to change it for the game against Farsley Celtic. But, yeah, we are looking to pass into space, even though I said it's something we're not going to do because it allows us to utilise the pace of Hugh, or Hoare, sorry, Hoare, um, and the wingers as well. We are countering, we're regrouping, and we're trying to get the ball to the flanks because that's where we're strong. We play a bit of a low block. Um, we drop off more as well to sort of support the goalkeeper, and we're trying to stop crosses coming in occasionally. We probably won't. I'm not too fussed about that because we've got quite tall centre-backs, actually. So, yeah, we're looking all right. As you can see, the squad is pretty thin on the ground, but uh, it does give us options, which is something I'm quite excited about. And, yeah, playing Hitchin, who were uh, one of the newly promoted teams as well. So, hopefully, we can start the season with a win. But what we're doing today, going into the press conference, we're going to do our first press conference as manager in our first competitive game, and then we'll get into the game. Hopefully, we get a win. So, we have uh, one 
one journalist here, Ryan Gaskell from the non-league paper. Excellent. Are you confident that your preparations will lead to a good start to the new season? Uh, yes, we've been working hard. If the players can carry that focus and determination to the match, we should do well. Uh, most pundits, pundits suggest that Spencer Harris's performance will be the key factor in determining whether you have a successful season or not. Is that a fair assessment? Um, I'm going to say no, because he's not even starting for us. What are your thoughts on a home match against Hitchin Town to kick off the season? Look, we want to get up to a good start. This gives us a fighting chance. We're very excited and keen to get underway. It's one of the better fixtures we could have been handed in terms of starting with a winnable game, which is very important. Hmm... I'm not going to talk about other teams. I have enough on my plate as it is. No, I'll say, you know, this could be a good start. Are you happy with how the team's been prepared for the new season? Yep, the break went well. We've taken our preseason form into this one. With the opening day fast approaching, how excited are you for the season ahead? Uh, we've worked hard. Let's get, we're ready to go. History has shown that teams can generally stay in the National League North with 50 points. Is that the magic number for you and your team this season? Um, I reckon we're going to see teams go down with a record points tally. There's far too much quality in the league for that not to happen. Looking at the quality of the teams expected uh, to struggle this season, it doesn't seem as if that will be enough. It's going to be quite a battle to avoid the drop. That's pretty negative. It's far too early to be able to say for sure we don't know how things will go. I certainly hope it will be... No, I think it's too early, isn't it? Are you confident of reaching that target? Look, yeah, I am. Hitchin Town have been widely tipped to struggle to avoid relegation. Can you see them surviving? Look, I'm struggling to work quite how they how they do it, unfortunately. They just don't look strong enough. But we're going to say that, I was going to say with a smile, with open arms. George Smith has intangible qualities. So many players look for in a leader. How does that help you in the way you set your team up? Look, I don't think we could do without him. He's someone we all rely on. I'll say that because he is a good captain. Uh, Jake Cassidy has a number of standout attributes and many people feel that they can make the difference against Hitchin Town. Do you share those sentiments? Yes. He's no secret weapon. I'm confident in what he can bring. How important is a player like Ethan Vaughan's physical traits to what you do as Geisley manager? Look, I love having those sorts of players. Can Andy Kelly earn a place in the team to play Hitchin Town despite reports claiming he hasn't trained well recently? Can he? Sure. Will he? I don't know. I like that answer. As a newly promoted team, do you really think your team has what it takes to compete at this level? Look, we're here on merit and believe we can play at this level. Do you have a clear idea in mind of your preferred first 11 for the season? Um... I'm not the sort of manager to stick to the same team week after week. I have so many good players. They all deserve to play. Nobody's predicting guys need to pull up any trees in the National League North, but how do you rate your chance of success? Look, we have to be realistic with our chances. There's a reason nobody fancies us. I don't pay any attention to odds. I don't make predictions. There we go. How pleased are Jamal Ibo signed the new contract? I'm very happy. He's been solid at the back for us during preseason. Is there a team you consider to be favourites to be relegated this season? Ooh. I mean... Tamworth, probably. I think they were the weakest of the ones that got promoted. So we'll go with Tamworth. We'll go Tamworth. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. That's the end of the It went fine, according to Lola Doran. And uh, yeah, lovely. Excellent. So we've, uh, in that press conference, we've basically said that we expect Hitchin and Tamworth to both struggle and go down. So yeah, there we go. And I've said it. I've said it there. We'll, we'll see how they react in the game. Hopefully it doesn't fire them up. Okay, so the board and the fans are both expecting us to win against Hitchin, so no pressure there. Uh, they are expecting to see Nicky Walker, or hoping to see Nicky Walker return from injury. He's not going to play. He hasn't played any... He might come off the bench, but he hasn't played any pre-season because he's had that injury for so long. So, yeah, I mean, he did pretty well last year, and left wing is a position that we need some depth in, and we've not got the best strength out there. But, uh, yeah, expectation review. So, avoid relegation. Be competitive in the FA Cup. Be competitive in the FA Trophy. We have got a transfer budget, but we're not allowed to buy players. So, that's definitely not going uh, to be the case. Can we actually chuck it all into... Yeah, there you go. We'll just chuck it all into wages and make that a little bit easier. So, here we go then. Us v Hitchin. Tamworth, the other team we've predicted to struggle against Spennymoor. Uh, let's have a quick look then at the season preview. What's uh, So, we're, we're 17th we're up in. Okay, so Tamworth, Bishop Strawford, FC United and Hitchin Town are the teams to look out for there. So FC United are playing Hereford, Bishop Strawford starting with a game away at Darlington. We're going to um, start in the balance shape in this system um, and hopefully make it work. So this is the team that we're going to go. We're not going to put a goalkeeper on the bench either, which could be an error. But uh, Trenary, Kyle Trenary, is our main goalkeeper. He's our main man. He's going to do the job. Vaughan at right back. On the right-hand side defence, we go with Eibel. On the left-hand side, we go with Sakura. Uh, is that right? He's right-footed. Was it Sakura right only? Yeah, right only. Sorry, wrong way around then, isn't it? 
Uh, so quickly change that around. Sakura on the right, Ivel on the left, and we're going to be starting George Smith on the left hand side. On the right of midfield, then we've been pl we've been rotating in preseason between Crofts and Quasim. I think we're going to start with Crofts. They've not they've they've got exactly the same last five average ratings, so it's pretty hard to. Uh, do that and I'm not going to the right winger I'm going to the Segundo Valente which is Chippendale which he doesn't really like but he's so good when he pushes forward since we've been in pre-season uh, that's what we're going with so on the right we'll start with Crofts uh, the ball winning midfielder we'll start with Ross Daly in there on the left hand side it will be Andy Kellett getting that start up front Jake Castley is the target forward Hior, or Hor is the uh, advance forward then we have Kazim, Hay, Walker Dean and Harris on the bench because we've got eyeball that can cover all across the back four. Is that what I want to do? We've got winger, central midfielder, another winger, centre mid, centre mid, centre back. Yeah, I think that's what we go with. I mean, it's a good position that we're we're in a team newly promoted and we haven't had to sign anyone and we actually have a player available that isn't going to play in this game. So it does allow for a little bit of rotation. So that's our team. Everyone looks emboldened. Ross Daly looks emboldened excellent that is one a big word and two good to see sorry that's going to be a very blunt edit as i went into a bit of a coughing fit uh yeah they're lining up charlie horlock akram birchall uh di giralamo di giralamo which is a great name uh bailey corley fritas guvia on the bench as well so let's get into the dressing room i'm hoping they're in a 4-4-2 because we played really well against the 4-4-2 against farsley so it's important that we make full use of home advantage to go out there and get a result with the point of the finger and then we'll tell everyone that we have faith in them, even though they're all pretty up for the game anyway. Uh, yeah, we're in we're in a good position here. We've got a really wide, small pitch. So playing it long to the flanks should open teams up. So when we're at home, we really need to make that count. Right, we'll get, uh, we'll get tight marking on the strikers. I don't think we're going to... Do we want to press them when they get the ball? Yeah, I think we do, actually. And then I think we're not going to... Let's go what we normally do here. So we're going to go for the fullbacks, and we're going to, say, force them inside. Just because we've got, you know, numbers inside. I don't mind that. And then I think, in tactics-wise, we're actually going to say trap outside. Because we've got, we're going to have, we've got numbers all around. We'll see. We'll see if they put crosses on and crosses in and how they're going to play. But that's how we're going to start, then. Let's get into the game. I'm excited for this one. First league game of the season. First competitive game as Geisley manager. We've got a good partnership up there in Cassidy and Hoare. We do rely on Chippendale to get forward quite a lot. They're playing in a flat 4-4-2. Um, I, I should have looked at their players, really. Is there anything we could have taken advantage of? Because Cassidy is surprisingly good in the air, even though he's not the tallest. I'm just thinking, do we have a quick look at their... Do we have a quick look at their team? Uh, let's go tactics, opposition, centre backs. Jack Birchall, six foot two, so he's going to be towering over Cassidy and six foot. Okay. So, not, I mean, they're not ideal. Jack Morrell, we can't see too much about him. He might not have too much pace. Uh, and Akom, five foot nine, Akom. Morrell, six foot. So, Delson Akom is on the right. Which side do we have Cassidy on? He's on our right, so he'll be facing up to their left. Let's just quickly quickly mix them up. Just change those rounds so that we have, if a cross comes in, Cassidy's pulling onto the left back, right? That's Jack Morrell, who's six foot. So did I have it the right way around? Yeah, he's five foot nine. I had it the right way around. I had it the right way around. We wanted him to be on the left so that he pulls onto the... Uh, He's on our right, so it's their left, so he pulls onto the left back. Yeah, if a cross goes long, it's him against the left back. Yes, right. Okay, let's get into the game as the rain comes down outside my window. Uh, we're playing in the white, hinching in the yellow, as we know. So hopefully we can get... Oh, I need to put it back onto... Oh, it is on extended. I thought I changed it for my friendlies, but I obviously played all my friendlies on extended as well. Okay, 15 minutes in and absolutely nothing's happened, but we have a free kick. Chippendale onto the roof of the net. We're going to go a bit of positive here. We're going to try and take the game to them a little bit. Trinari goes long, looking for Horde. Doesn't win the header. It's flicked on. Eyeball's there. Eyeball over to the right to Croft. That's a good ball. Croft lays it back. Cassidy's there. Fires it in on the half volley. We've got our first goal as Geisley manager, and it's our main man, Jake Cassidy. 
Eyeball with a lovely ball out to the to uh, Crofts on the right here. Lovely ball over the defence. Crofts let it bounce. First time cross on the half volley. Cassidy into that precision bottom corner. And that is 1-0. We're going to drop back to balance straight away. And uh, hopefully we can build from here. Here's Eyeball on it again. Into Daly. Daly looks long for Hoare, but he's not going to get that. Akum will pick that one up. Akum goes long, but it's one in the air. Dawkins with a bit of a poor touch. Birchall into Bell. Bell to Di Giralamo, who goes long. Vaughan brings it down. Back to Trenari. Up towards Hoare again. It's not the ball we really want. Sneller shoots from range. Side netting. But uh, I've got no issues if they're going to be shooting from range like that. Long goal kick forward then. It's covered by Smith on the left-hand side. Long to Hoare. Knocks it back to Chippendale. Over the top to Crofts again, who's getting in lots of space. Squire. Hoare's there and he's shot straight to Horlock in goal. Oh, that was such a good opportunity for the youngster Adam Hoare. Really should have done better. Trenary goes long. It's a bit quick, isn't it? The game's, the game's moving a little bit quicker, I think, than what I normally have it. So let's try that. It's booted clear. Trenary will have loads of time. To, uh, to pick his ball up to Cassidy. Flicks it on into Adam Hoare. Adam Hoare's through. One on one. Hoare past the keeper. And there's the little and large partnership. Jake Cassidy won the head of the long ball forward. And Adam Hoare went round his man. One on one with the keeper. And just stuck it past him. And Trenary, it's not good looking. It's not beautiful football. But it is what you need in the lower leagues. And Cassidy flicks it on. onto Hoare round the keeper. 2-0 to Geisley. What a start this is for the home fans. Look at them all rapturous so as we get towards half time we've dominated this game is eight shots to two in favor of Geisley Chippendale with the corner swings it in towards Sakura but Horlock great claim from the goalkeeper that one he's done really really well I would prefer a left foot to be taking that corner but um we have no good left foot corner takers so we're just making do with Chippendale doing basically all of our set pieces Bell comes for a great tackle from Cassidy as Crofts he's been all action in this game Crofts so far Vaughan holds it up Looks to uh, cut back over the top into Crofts again. He's getting so much space into Hoare and it's 3-0 before half time. Crofts has got two assists in this one. Hoare has two goals. And Geisley are on fire in the Northern, uh, Northern National League North. That doesn't make sense. National League North. Crofts with a great chest control. Fired it square. Hoare's there. And we've set up a team that looks like it's... Uh, at least better than Hitchin, which is something, isn't it? I think we have to take credit in that. 3-0 at half-time. Hitchin have done not very much at all. I mean, I've got to say I'm very happy, right? You're doing brilliantly. Everyone looks delighted with that. I'm just sort of thinking, do we try and just shut up shop a little bit more? We'll move daily back a little bit. 3-0. I'm very, very happy with that. They've made a change. Jack Snellis off. Levy Walsh on as a striker. So uh, it looks like for like sticking in there 4-4-2 as Vaughan picks up that long ball forward. And uh, yeah, they've gone 4-4-2. We get a corner again. This is an outswinger from Chippendale. Again on that side, up towards the back post. Di Girolamo gets it away. Everybody in the Geisley cert just leaves it for Leach to pick up. Back to Bailey. Bailey out to Akoma or Akom for, uh, for Hitchin. Birchall goes long and it's a decent ball, but Trenari's there to cover. And uh, picks it up. Just puts it down to his feet. Goes long. Looking for Cassidy. Defenders missed it. Jake Cassidy's through to make it four. What a save from Horlock. I would have preferred Cassidy to just go closer. He had so much time and space. But he took the earlier shot. Horlock with a good save. Chippendale swings in the corner. And Horlock's come to claim it uh, again. He's done a good job there, goalkeeper, of claiming corners and crosses. So Birchall was missed. A header and Hoare could be in. Hoare had, oh, he had to hold up the ball. Couldn't use his pace to get past. Smith takes over into... Eyeball over the top looking towards Kellett. He's got a lot of time to pick his ball here. Kellett dinks it in. Cassidy's there. They gave Kellett far too much space. It's 4-0, Geisley. What a start to the season we're having here. Our home fans are going to think we're going to win the league. Eyeball went. It's a long ball down to the left-hand side. We are asking our defenders to just play it long and spread it wide. Hall could have put it in. He let it go for Cassidy. 4-0, what a start to the National League North season this is. We are playing incredibly well. And there's only 56 minutes gone. It's not over yet. Bell picks up the ball in midfield for Hitchin. Morell over the top. That's covered well by Sakura And back to Trenary, who we know is probably going to go long looking for Cassidy. Because it's such a good out ball that we've got. He does. And he's actually gone all the way out to Hoare this time. Hoare into the area. Tries to bend one. Oh, Adam Hoare. He's got a hat trick on the first day of the league season 
Adam Hoare has a hat trick, and it's an assist for Trenary, the goalkeeper, who's delivered that ball like he's Edison. That is absolutely ridiculous. And Adam Hoare, my throat is absolutely killing me. But we've got a hat trick on debut. We're five nil up. Well, maybe not his debut, but we've got a hat trick on the first game of the season. Five nil up. Hitchin are getting battered. Chippendale swings it in. It's going to fall to Smith. He flicks it on. Bell boots it away. It's a race between Smith and their striker, but Smith has the determination to get there first. Lays it into Eibel. Eibel over the top. That's Oh, Holick, he's had a shocker. Cassidy into Crofts. Crofts, oh, I thought he was going to shoot. Crofts tries to get to the byline. Collects free at the back post, but couldn't make it work. And Corley brings it away. Up into Welsh. Welsh, great tackle from Daly there. He's probably going to come off in a minute. We have got another ball-winning midfielder on the bench as uh, Crofts looks to turn. He's had a great game on the right wing as well. He's still going, Crofts. Holds it up. Back to Vaughan. Vaughan, what can he do? Looks for Cassidy. Not a good pass, though. And it's cleared away. Well intercepted, and it's long. Into Hall. Hall with a header. Oh, my word. It was nearly a fourth goal for Adam Hall. Free kick, then, for Hitchin. Bell over it. He's taking his time. Swings it in, looking for the back post. Daly heads it away. Kellett's there. Can we counter? No. Corley takes over. Kellett clears. Hall picks it up, and he's got Cassidy. Can Cassidy have the legs and the pace to get through? He's going to go wide. He holds it up well, actually. Crofts takes over. Crofts dinks it in, looking for Hall. He's not the tallest. Chippendale into Smith. Smith swings it in, and Dijon Lomo's there. Cassidy, volley! Oh, Horlock with the save. Oh, Jake Cassidy, that could have been goal of the season on the first day of the season. Absolutely incredible stuff from Geisley. What football we're playing here. Leach takes over. Kellett robs him again. Cassidy's got Hall making the run. He feeds him. What a ball from Cassidy. Hall's in! Horlock with a fantastic save. This could be embarrassing if it wasn't for the goalkeeper Horlock in goal. Right, we're going to make our first change. Ross Daly off. Luke Dean is going to come on. Uh, I might do... Yeah, well, let's do Eibel for Harris. He's just lost a bit of interest in there. So uh, we're going to give them both a team talk. I feel like we need to see this result through. There's no pressure. You need to come on and make it happen yourselves. Yeah, it's, that's the, complacent. Brilliant. Complacent. 5 nil up. I'm saying, look, it's a team effort. We're not expecting you to make a huge difference. But, uh, yeah, on they come and watch us concede now. Corley into Akom. Akom down to the byline, ball in. Harris does head it away, gets his head on it. Dawkins is there, block the shot, and Dean clears. So both subs coming into the game and doing something. Good header again from Harris. Chippendale flicks it on. Hoare hits the back of his head and he doesn't know where it's gone. Down the line looking for Corley. Smith's there, clears it away. I, I don't mind the long clearances as, lo as soon as we get it. I know it's given possession back, but this is uh, non-league football, so... We can't always hope for this. Hoare's in. Hoare. I think Cassidy was offside, so he didn't pass it. Hoare over the bar. I mean, Hoare's got his hat trick. Do we take him off? Cassidy has actually got a 10 rating and not Hoare at the moment, which I find fascinating, according to Hoare's got a hat trick. Chippendale. Horlock has made another absolutely fantastic save. Absolutely astonishing goalkeeping from their goalkeeper. I think we are going to make a change. We're going to make our third and final change. We're going to put Kasim up. Oh, no. Let's bring on. We are 5 nil up. And Walker coming back from injury. The fans wanted to see him. And here he is. Number 11. He is our best left winger. And he's on to have a run out in this game against Hitchin. As Cassidy flicks it on again. Di Gilamo got into a bit of confusion there with his goalkeeper. Cross takes over. Cross is blocked. And Larry will have it. And my throat is absolutely killing me. Um, so I'm looking forward to this game ending and me having a little bit of a rest in my throat. Cassidy into Sikora. Chippendale. I mean, we're moving the ball so well. Crofts comes forward. Chippendale can't quite get there. Cleared away. Sikora goes long up to Hoare. Doesn't win the header. Obviously, he's a midget. Uh, Smith, great touch on the ball. Chippendale out to Walker. The crowd applaud him. Back from a long-term injury. Running down the left-hand side. Walker cuts in field. Finds Chippendale. Chippendale, Smith, loads of good movement, great space, ball in, Cassidy with a header, it's gone in! Horlock's made so many good saves, but he couldn't keep this one out. It's 6-0 on the first day of the season. I'll tell you what, if we're not top of the league with a 6-0 win on the first day, it's sacrilege. But Horlock has had a shocker, maybe he's given up, but that's what I mean by Cassidy, he's very good in the air at this level. And 6-0, uh, 6-0, it's a corner to Hitchin. I'd love that clean sheet. I'd absolutely love that clean sheet. Bell in. Headed away at the front post by Sikora. It goes back to Bell on this right-hand side. Takes his time. Dawkins swings it into the back post. Headed away. Dean can bring it forward. We're going to have walk. We're going to have space either side. Look at this counter. Hitchin have just given up. They're knackered. They, they don't know what to do. Crofts. Ball in. Cassidy. Oh. 
It could have been a hat trick for both strikers. They have both got a hat trick already. I don't know what I'm on about. Unbelievable. 26 shots we've had, 15 on target. We have been phenomenal in this game. Vaughan into Dean. Dean back to Sakura. Sakura back to Chenery. I am not expecting this season to be easy at all. I'm expecting this to be a very, 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 very good start to the season. And that's about it. As uh, Crofts picks up first time volley to the back post is headed away. Dawkins into Welsh. Welsh out to Crawley for Hitchin with four minutes to go. Crawley comes down the right. Smith just reads it but then gives it back to Crawley. Into Welsh. Welsh into Dawkins. They've got a man on the edge there which is Bell. And he's had a shot from range. It's past the post. And uh, yeah, not long to go. I'm just sort of thinking do we just shut this game down? And not worry about going for another goal. But 7-0 has a good ring to it, doesn't it? Walker. Walker. Back from injury. Into Hoare. It's 7. Let's shut it down now. Very defensive. 7-0 seven. Seven on our first game in the National League North after promotion. We are in... Oh, my word. 7-0. Walker. Everyone thought he was going to play it through. Took an extra touch. Into Hoare. He's got 4. He's got 4 for his... First game back in the National League North. What a performance this is. What a performance. We've gone very defensive, so watch us concede now. Uh, it comes to Bailey on the edge. Flicked into Leach. He shoots. Terribly goes past the post. It is blocked. It is a corner. And uh, seven. Brackley Town are beating Boston 4-2. That's nothing, mate. We've had that is six goals in that game. We've had more goals just for us in this. It's there. Leach heads it over the bar. That should see us through to the end of the game. 7-0. 7 nil. 7, -nil. Seven -nil. I cannot believe it. I know we're playing a newly promoted time as a side as well, but 7-0. Bloody hell. It's all over. It's 7-0. I've said that so many times. 4 for Hoare. Three for Cassidy, assist for Crofts, Smith, and Walker when he came on. Kellett got an assist as well before he went off. It's just constant goals, and those home fans are going to be absolutely bloody delighted. I mean, that is as good a win as you're likely to see. That was ridiculous. Absolutely. Top of the league. Top of the league. Come on. Played one. Goal difference, seven points, three. Yes. Yes, right. The other newly promoted teams, FC United, did beat Hereford 1-0, so good for them. Bishop Storford were um, were planned for relegation. They've lost 2-1. Obviously, we beat Hitchin 7-0. And Tamworth beat Spennymore 1-0 as well. So, good day all round for the promoted teams, other than Hitchin, who got absolutely battered by us. Get in there. Seventh heaven then for Geisley. Lovely stuff. 27 shots to 8. 2.94 XG, and we scored 7 for, we, we gave up possession, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, we do have a press conference. Hort was in top form with four goals. Um, keep up the good work with those goals, mate. Absolutely amazing. We're going to go and actually, we're going to go and praise uh, Cassidy as well because he got a trick. He can't, I don't think you can praise, praise, praise last game, put an arm around him, top work. Up front. Very positive. So he's happy that we went and gave him that stuff. So I'm wondering, do we do it with everybody that actually contributed in that game? I think that could be a good idea, couldn't it? That could be a very good idea. So assists. Andy Kellett got an assist. Discuss. Praise player. Praise last game. Put an arm around him. Uh, good quality of pass. Yep, yeah, pleased with his performance, which is good. So I'm going to assume that's, uh, that's... Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Morale is so key in the lower league. So we've done Jake. We've done Adam Hoare. Uh, two assists for Nathaniel Crofts as well. Uh, praise last game. Put an arm around him. Quality choice of pass was amazing. So Crofts is up to perfect for morale as well. And George Smith had an assist. So discuss. Praise player. Praise last game. Put an arm around him. Your par your passing was a joy. Chances you created. Oh. Well, he got an 8.2. So he generally just did really well. Your passing was a joy. Keep doing what he's doing. Excellent. Uh, the goalkeeper also got an assist. So, can we can we praise him for shot stopping? Was no. Let's just look. Your goalkeeping was a joy to watch. Thanks. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Lovely. Look, morale. Excellent. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Wow. What a performance. Let's quickly go and do the press conference. I say. I say quickly. There's one journalist there. It shouldn't take too long, but it probably will. Uh, it's Ryan Gaskell. He's back. Uh, such positive result must have gone down well with you. 
with the players by getting a day off? Will the players be getting a day off as a result? Well, they're part-time, so they're not training tomorrow anyway, so yes. What a spellbinding display that was. Is that how you saw it too? Look, it's good when everything comes together. A win in your first competitive match as guys manager. Could you have wished for a better start? It's a great match. Everything went according to plan. How pleased it was with your side. Didn't let Hitchin Town have a single shot on target. We were excellent defensively. What do you think of Adam Hall's goal? Well, he scored four of them. So it was a magnificent strike. Magnificent player. Overjoyed. I'm very pleased with Jake's contribution. You must be pleased with Adam Hall's choice. Um, he's a great player. Happy he's here. Sikora was really good. Um, there's every chance of him remaining here. I've seen nothing to suggest he's going to leave. Rumours that you're still in the market. Look, I'm not going to discuss transfers. You clearly like to keep your cards close to your chest, but the guys these supporters will want an answer. Are you pursuing Joel Torrance? Can't say for sure. And I can say no for sure, but I'm not going to say that to the press. So there we go. 7-0 to start the series off. It can only go downhill. It can only go downhill. Right, we're going to play a number of games off camera. Uh, let's come back for... Um, I could do loads actually and come back for Tamworth in October. Yeah, let's play another newly promoted team. So we've got, oh, we've got FC United and Manchester that quite soon after that as well. No, okay, we won't. We'll come back for Darlington and the FA Cup second qualifying round. Because we'll normally do two games an episode. So we'll do Darlington and the FA Cup second qualifying round is our next episode. And then we'll come back for FC United and Gloucester. Um, and then we'll be getting towards the second half of the season after that. So, excellent. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. This save will be going for probably the whole game cycle, hopefully, unless we get sacked. Um, yeah, what a start. 7-0. Unbelievable, unbelievable scenes. Lots of limbs. Get your limbs in the chat. And, uh, yeah, where are we going to finish this season? Have your predictions after that 7-0 win. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.